Do you really think I just gave up? Like that? I beat all three apexes with a level one. And the fourth one was just like, nah. But here we are because, like I once said, nothing is impossible, proceed. <laughs> the real reason I am back is because someone quoted that to me. They said, Proceed, when's the, when's the video gonna come out where you beat Gorgo Trebax with a level 1? Remember you said, nothing's impossible for Percy. And I felt that, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I had to do this, really. And, in all honesty, it's more of a trio strat than a level 1 strat. Which is kind of even better. I, I've just ticked two things off. And. Yeah. But. It actually gets a kill. Which is really astounding. You ready? Watch right here. It gets the kill. No way. Yeah it does. Who would have expected me to be using this creature? Like what? Yeah it's my only level one. And I was like. Uh, my Thor is not going to cut it, considering there are no boosts on it. So you know what? Let me just AFK the whole battle. <laughs> but of course, me dying, well, we just finished something, so at least it's done something. It wasn't just finished off instantly. But now that we're out, this is probably my most important part. Where I'm now just guiding everyone from the sidelines. Because some people, they, de they definitely get what's going on. But it's really easy to forget what you need to do. I do it a lot. And so, but luckily sometimes, uh, yeah, I can just see into the future like Doctor Strange. And I'm like, go that move and we'll win. <laughs> Uh, I could see into the future, we would have done this ages ago. But, I'm really happy we did, uh, get, get over to this. Of course, needed a near max level Skullosaurus, which, I'll point out, this strategy actually, uh, uh, is inspired by two strategies. So, Everyone basically knows level 20 Skullosaurus strat, right? You can use level 16, which I proved. <laughs> um, but, uh, the level 20 school strat, I'm like, hang on. A level 20 Skullosaurus can survive a nullifying impact or rampage hit, I think, from Gorgo Trebax. What would a level... An end near max level do. <laughs> Could it be part of the trio strat? And well, yes. Yes, it can. Technically, you do actually need every Sion. Or anything, really. Because... Technically, that you can call this a trio strat. Because it doesn't just have to be every Sion. It can be any creature you want to bring along. Because all every Sion has to do is take a bit of the damage. So that Dodi Curious can go shields and, uh, you know, what's the thing? It, so, I oh know, so it can go resilient and the creature we've brought into the raid will absorb all that damage. Of course, probably falling to their death like MP Sion did, but, uh, yeah, you've just proven greatness for this. Maybe we could uh, use a sloth in this and it would last much longer. That is until uh, the boss decides to go for a nullify move of course. Uh, leaving the sloth to perish most likely. <laughs> uh, could we carry the sloth all the way to the end? That would be really interesting to figure out. Anyway, we're on to level 2 and it's pretty smooth so far. Yes, everyone's really low HP. 
this is the point in time where we get the group heal and the rampage along with I believe the instant destruction no resilient we just use instant destruction to win. I can't be bothered calling it group destruction which I just did so there you go <laughs> so yeah basically Dodi Curus going shields helped us out a lot here actually um because uh oh my god I've forgotten yes because that way it won't do any extra damage to us because number one Thor with its massive rampage is going to take out Intelidon, leaving Dodicurus right for the kill, which Thor is about to do, or someone else, I'm not too sure. I believe Turmolic attacks Corgo Trebax here, or something. Either way, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Thor finishes it off. Yeah, so Schooler distracts, of course, allowing the nullification to do less damage and yeah Turbolic does attack Gorgon Trebax which is absolutely excellent so yeah we probably could do, do this without the fourth creature because um, if Dodi Curious goes shields first move um, then you don't have to worry about anything basically and the strat will go as planned. But honestly, Dota Curious was not doing shields at all today, so. We we're doing this for four hours with a different strat, I believe. Let me pull it up on the screen. Now, uh, yeah, it's basically similar, except uh, our friend Archaeo Theorem actually gets to pull off a Mutual Fury first go, which is good up until. RNG comes in and you're basically playing the start of the raid that you don't even get to pass the very first round because no not even the first turn you have to surrender the first turn we we're on the first turn for about uh, two hours would be polite to say but it was much longer than that I would go four hours honestly yeah, that's how dedicated I am, and my friends are, and I thank them very much. Thank you for uh, joining in on this chat, Cat, and uh, of course, one of the regulars on the channel, Clarasaurus, with her alt account. And we were also gonna do this with, we were doing it with Pen Pen before, I can't just not include his name after he was doing it with me for hours on end and also uh commander p because he was the one who offered me a level one rko first but realized it was a level two i'm like get out of here <laughs> yeah no if it's not level one it's is if it ain't one it's none basically <laughs> Now, I'm really sorry if my voice is off a lot. It is because I'm kind of sick. Uh, which, of course, has given me the time to do this raid, so I'm partially grateful. But obviously, I'm sick, so it's not too great. But I'm willing to do it, and I loved it so much. Honestly, it gave me something to do, so I'm very happy. Amongst other stuff I was doing. In fact, I've got three other videos I still haven't uploaded that I need to get out. And I'll do that eventually, I promise you. They're very good videos, actually. Or at least uh, if you think they are. Because let's not. Uh... I can't ever think of a kid friendly saying for this. So I just won't say it. Because I used it in my last video. And I don't think it was very appropriate on this channel, so I'm sorry. I didn't include the word, but you could all tell what I was meaning. Cocky? That's not the word I'm talking about. That's not rude, because... Ah. Uh, yeah, it, I don't think it's that word. 
I think there could be a better word to describe it. How am I still talking about this? Anyway, before I think we're talking about like inspirations for this strat, so I'll just pull up the two strats that me to pull this off with my friends. So yeah, first uh, strat is the one we did with Core, the level 6 Sinus Theorem, and then the one that Drax came up with, the School of Source strat, of course. Because I was talking about level 20 school source before. Um, so yeah, the level 6 Inos Theorem gave me the idea to use a level 1 Archaeo Theorem. Which we did end up using. But like, it really provided the structure. that, And it brought these three creatures together. I'm like, right, we can create a trio raid out of this basically. And then, of course, like, we're basically using every creature in Drax's raid. Except the Tenonterex, because Schoolosaurus already it was a beefy little creature in when it's level twenty in this raid. But at level twenty nine, just soaks up the damage, and oh, it's so good, honestly. What do you guys actually think? Like, what do you think Ludia thinks when I do this stuff? Do you reckon it like? Um, there's a full-on statistic board that says what creatures people have used to pass this raid. And they see a level 1 in there, and they just, like, press the red emergency button. There's a hacker. Someone just beat Gorgo Trebax with a level 1. Oh, never mind. It's just Pro C. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. I wonder if they do actually have a statistic. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, honestly. Anyway, we're so close to round three. And we got very lucky that uh, Thor critted that first turn. That way, Gorgo Trebex went revenge uh, just before. And so it's only going to target one person here, which will hopefully be Schoolosaurus, who will hopefully suck up all the damage, soak up all the damage, I meant to say. And Thor, please do not crit here because... Oh, wait, never mind. That's fine. We already know how it ends. And even if Thor did crit, we'd be fine. <clears throat> so, yeah. As you can see, there's barely, like, any damage at all towards the school source. And even if you think it is, it's going to get healed anyway. So, I think it is. Does it get emergency healed here? I'm not too sure, but yeah, it does, which is, Thor doesn't have to do any damage, so don't need to heal it, because Schoolosaurus actually finishes off the boss on its own. How amazing is that? Excellent work, team. Well, next, I believe, we speed up, like the normal school strat, and Schooler uh, shields like the normal school strat as well. And of course, Thor has to go Rampage. And hopefully it doesn't crit, otherwise it will activate. Gorgo Trebax's Revenge will activate on its nullifying. And it could kill everyone, so we definitely didn't want that. But apart from that, yeah, victory was really close within range. Like, I've beaten. Sorry to be saying this for people who don't like me talking all this proud stuff about myself, but really, I've beaten Mortem Rex, we, we've beaten Mortem Rex to the level 1, we've beaten Hadroslux, the level 1 Lithronax, Mortem Rex to the level 1 Sloth, Hadros with the level 1 Lithronax, been Sierra Magnus with the level 1 Ankylosaurus Gen 2, really cool because it was like based off of, um, we were using Ankylosaurus Gen 1 as the normal low level strat, and then we use Gen 2, it's like, yeah, this is the part 2 where we really finish things off. And now, Empty Sayu, one of the most unexpected creatures, but it was my only level 1, so may as well just use it, eh? But yeah, everybody gangster, till you realize Proceed has beaten every Apex with a level 1 on the team. <laughs> and we basically trioed every raid too. I'd call this technically a trio too. We can turn it into a trio most definitely. 
we just have to get a bit of lucky RNG at the start, which isn't too hard, I'd say. Just really, all we need is Dirty Cures to go instant shield and uh, Intelodon to go either group strike. Actually, it doesn't even matter if it goes group frosty either, I think. So, that's basically all the RNG we need the first round. And then, it, basically, we just follow along with what happened in this strike, which is awesome. So, what happens here? That's right, Gorgo Trebax's Revenge has activated just now, because we finished off Dirty Curious last round. Which was great, because, yeah, the Revenge didn't go off on the nullifying, and everyone's still alive. So awesome. And of course, Distraction to remove some Trebax's damage. 4k damage, wow. I mean, could be a bit better, but only 10k health left. We've basically halved in the last round. We're so close. Oh, there's a hit towards everyone. Now, I believe this is the part where someone else gets finished off. I think. Turmolic speeds up, doesn't it? I tell them to do that. They're like trying group superiority. Um, right after I said speed up. And because uh, everyone listens to me, like, you're the alpha of the show. I'm kidding. Um, but because they don't want to get it wrong. And they're, um, yeah, they're scared if they get it wrong. And we're in fourth round. So they're all relying on me. There's a lot of pressure on me, guys. But they're all good because... Even though Thor's finished off. Uh, then, yeah, wait. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I'm turning into... <gasps> now that I, I know I can make every apex with the level, one, I become... Pro C Ultima! Anyway, Termite, go for it. You've won. Congrats. How? 19 out of 20 turns too, so it was a long one, but totally worth it. Actually, not as long as some straps, I'd say. Some last 30 minutes, so that's impressive. There it is, everyone. Here's the screen for it. The level one on it. Oh, that's perfect. Another poster hang up on my wall. I'm kidding, I don't... Have, we don't talk about... I've got a lot of dinosaur posters, but... Yeah, no, I don't hang up my own great victories. So, what are we going to get? Please, hopefully we're lucky and get a high amount, like 25, 30. Actually, why am I saying that? We already know what we get. <laughs> yes, we did get 25, I'm so happy. Because that means next week, we might just unlock Tremax. Yeah, enough of Proceed Ultima. Thank you all for watching, everyone. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>